What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm Hunter Collins and in today's video we're going to be reviewing this Plano all-weather gun case. I got this for Christmas so we're going to test it out, take some of the styrofoam out, put my gun in it and see how it holds up. So let's get into the review. So I just want to say before we get in this video that the link for this will be in the description if you decide that you want to check this out for yourself. Alright guys, so I have the 42 inch case and it basically comes, it has three different locks on the front and then it's also got two on the sides and they seem pretty sturdy they also lock as well so they're when you open it up there is a key inside so you can lock it which I think is really good um, in this case I got it on sale at Roll King for 50 bucks so I think that's really good and then it just comes with simple instructions so just from the outside looking in, to me the case seems very good, I mean, it seems very sturdy, very hard, and then it's got all this styrofoam in it, so let's get to work in the styrofoam and see if we can turn it into anything. Alright guys, so as you can see, this styrofoam is kind of made of a bunch of little squares. This is not like the high, high quality stuff, however, this is, like, like I said, I picked this up on sale for 50 bucks. They're usually $80 at Rule King, so I got a good deal on it. Then Elliot got one as well, so we're just going to test it out. Uh, I think it'll still work fine, but let's go ahead and lay my gun up on here and get to tracing it out. Now that I have my gun on here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a knife and kind of trace around where um, I'm going to want to kind of peel the little blocks out. I'm not going to draw on it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting, but I'm not going to cut all the way yet. I'm just going to kind of do an outline, and then I'm going to remove my gun, and then I'll start peeling the dice out. So, I'm going to go ahead and just cut to that. Alright, as you guys can see, it uh, it cuts out pretty easily. So, you can kind of see my outline I've already got on here. But, once you kind of start cutting, it pretty much just comes right out. I cut a little bit around it one time and then basically what I'm doing now is going back through and just getting the big chunks out but for the most part just kind of work with it trying to be gentle with it and just keep working till I get the shape cut out and we'll see how well it holds up and fits together alright guys so now that I pretty much have it finished I went ahead and laid my gun in here and as you can tell when I try to take it out, it's pretty tight. So that's what you want. You want it to fit tight. So that way nothing gets really beat up and it keeps it very secure. Also went ahead, I cut out a little spot for my sling. I made a little hole so I could keep some ammo in my case. And then I got some hearing protection over here. There's still some room to work with if I wanted to add something else. But that's pretty much how you take this apart. Everything cut out pretty easy for the most part. The only thing I did notice is, I don't know if maybe I needed a sharper knife, but just the way that it cut out, you can kind of see, it just kind of looks cheaper, um, the way that the dice cut up. But, I mean, that could be a thing with all styrofoam cases. I don't know. This is my first one like this. It's a cutout. But overall, I think it did really good. I mean, everything seems to hold up just fine. Even these blocks where I only have, you know, like two in between. And it wasn't hard to cut out. It didn't take that much time. So let's jump back to the table and give you my th final thoughts on it. Alright guys, so pretty much my final thoughts on this. I think that it's very good for the amount of money I spent on it. Once again, this was about $80 retail. And I caught it on sale for $50. Which just happened to be a really, really good Black Friday sale that Rule King had going on. But I've been looking at one of these cases for a long time now. And... I really like this one. I mean, I, I don't really want to pay for a really, really expensive one. So when I saw this, I was like, let's go for it. Let's try it out. And once again, Elliot got one too. So if you want to go see his video and his thoughts on this, he's got a review as well. I'll make sure I'll link that in the description too. But more or less, very sturdy. I'm not worried about anything getting in this at all. Um, the locks, I really like the way it locks. Just when you close it. And you can't just pull it open either. You have to press these little yellow things on the bottom, then lift up. 
then you still can't open it unless you move this piece out. So you have to make sure it's out. So, I mean, it's, it's very, like, nothing's getting into it. It's not accidentally falling open. I know I have, like, a really cheap, like, $10 one. And it doesn't come open, but it almost comes open all the time. Then I can also lock this if I want so nobody can get into it. And once again, you just look in the inside. I mean, it just looks very, very good to me. I really like how it turned out. Not only does it like, let me know my gun's safe, but I also think it just looks really cool. And I know nothing's going to be getting jarred around and possibly messing my scope up or scratch anything on the gun. So final thoughts on this. I would definitely recommend, especially if you're just getting into shooting or the outdoor industry and this kind of stuff. I mean, that's my always my opinion. As you guys know, if you watch my review videos, I always say, you know, budget option at first. Once you know more about it or if you've done a lot of research, go ahead, do whatever you want. But I think this is very good for what I paid for it. Um, like I said, once again, it, it was kind of cheap for these kind of cases. But I think I would definitely recommend this to you. But that's pretty much going to do it for this review video. Once again, if you want this, it'll be linked down in the description below. But thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more reviews, content coming out weekly for you guys. So stay up to date on everything that I'm doing and also my buddies as well, Elliot and Jared. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks again. And as always, take someone out of